All right, so um, we had the self-res back since the last uh, big update, and uh, how to play self-res or how to play against self-res. Uh, it's it's quite a big thing in Hunt now. Uh, quite often you encounter solo players in the bayou, and uh, yeah, here's a few tricks for it, both if you are solo using self-res. Uh, and also, if you play against a solo self press uh, guy. So, the background here is just the start of a game. I'm fighting a trio here, being a solo myself. Um, anyway, so um, if you are a solo uh, and if you have self press, so besides Necromancer, of course, obviously, you have to have that. Uh, you should bring Serpent and Magpie, which give you unique solo advantage uh, compared to teams uh, so uh, serpent give you the uh, long slurp serpent uh, distance uh, for example if there's a meathead on the clue you can slurp the, the, the clue instead of uh, taking it uh, on site um, and then uh, magpie gives you twice as much scan time as when you're in a team. Uh, so apart from these three traits, you should also bring as a solo resilience. Because uh, if they kill you, if you are trapped with only one Constantina mine, for example, or Constantina bomb, you will actually survive that with if you have resilience. So you get 100 health, you will start to bleed, but you will be able to survive it. Um, this is also valid for uh, a bear trap or a poison bomb, for example. So, if you have these traits, <coughs> I think the tactic uh, should be that uh, if you get killed close quarters, and if you hear nothing, then probably they're just watching your bodies, and, and they will uh, farm you if you self-rest. If you hear steps fading away, you could try and self-rest. Or if you hear shots in the distance, you can also try to self rest. If you hear a lot of fighting and dying, or a boss fight, just go for it. Go for the self rest. I mean, it's not OP at all, because most of the times you just get farmed. Uh, another trip, uh, another trick if you play uh, solo self rest, is that you should bring uh, a stamina shot and take it before a fight. Because if you have it, if you get killed, uh, when you self-res, you have stamina, full stamina directly after the res. This can actually be, as you will see in the clip later here, um, do or die for you when you self-res. Especially if you trade with another solo with self-res, for example. Then you get a huge advantage if you have a stamina shot. Because when you self-res, you have full stamina. Um, also, uh, good to have... Re regeneration shots so when you self rest you know, most of the time you just need to move run away from traps or from people and then you don't need to stop and heal you can just run and heal while you're running so region shots are also very powerful if you fight against um, a solo you must watch the body so uh, the obvious things is to put traps on the body, like Constantina. If you put both Constantina and Poison, uh, the solo will die, uh, irrespective of if uh, that hunter has uh, resilience. Uh, put uh, If you don't have uh, traps, put uh, bear traps or alert trips mines you can also put. If you don't have that, throw a Constantina bomb on. If you don't have that, uh, uh, throw fire and watch the body until it burns out. Uh, if you don't have fire close by, you can also put a choke on the body because then you hear when they rest. And you can try to uh, to bait. Uh, you can have teammates that go away, make sound, uh, fake a fight or something, um, and then they rest and then you can kill them again. If you're solo, you can also use decoys. I will show this later. So, um, 
So, there's two examples here. The first one here. I kill a trio first, as you saw. And then this, this solo here that I'm fighting. Kill me twice. But, his mistake. He didn't watch my body. So, he killed me twice. And still I got the upper hand here. So now I know he has self res. So I'm not gonna take my ass off it. I'm just gonna keep... Um, <laughs> killing him. So... What he should have done was to, when he killed me first, watch the body, put something on me, uh, throw a lantern on me or something like that. But he let me go twice without watching my body. And now uh, I'm not taking my eyes off this guy and I will kill him uh, three times. So there was the last time. Okay. So, next example here is, um, this is another game, same location. <coughs> I have uh, terminals levering with uh, fire ammo, I need to do some quest I think. So I want to get close because I think uh, the levering is better close, but he had a bomb blast and he killed me. So, he put some poison on me. But as you see, I have resilience. So, I survive a self res. He didn't keep an eye on my body. He put poison on me. And here you see, if I would have had stamina shot uh, before, then I wouldn't be out of stamina as am I now. So, it's hard for me to run and fight because I have no stamina. I should have popped the stamina before I started fighting him. I still got away here though, and I popped my stamina now. Uh, oh, yeah, put my stamina now. So, and then I didn't have my regen either, so I should have had that, because then I would have been healing while I was running. Now I have to to use that now instead. Put in on, fi in on, in on fire there, and uh, now, when I heal, now I feel that I'm on top of this fight. So... He did some mistakes, I did some mistakes. He didn't watch my body, I didn't take the stamina shot and reading shot before the fight. Um, anyway, he lost the bar there and now I'm on top of him, so he's burning again. He's got to he has to put that out. Okay, so now only thing I have to do, I know he has self press, he's a solo. So I just have to keep an eye on the body. He's lying on a slope here, so I, uh, the traps cannot fit on him. So I just have to keep an eye on him and uh, put him on fire or put something on him. So I just backed up here while look at, looking at him and then put him on fire. So if he would have watched my body, he would have won this uh, fight. But I had resilience, he put poison on me and then he went away. And then I could uh, self -res. This is same game, later in another location. They were fighting here, so I tried to push up. And uh, he killed me behind the metal door. So he might think that I'm not a solo because they were fighting. So I rest. I have resilience. Look, he hit me. I survived twice. Hits. And then I kill him. So that's... That's where resil resilience helped me. Now I have stamina shots and region shot going. So I can run and heal and have stamina while I'm running. I don't need to stop and heal. I don't need to stop and get my stamina back. So because of resilience, it hit me twice there, but I still managed to to get away from the self rest. I hear me in the corner. I think it's just to the right, but I was mistaken. The second guy. And whoops, I totally bait here, right? So he's coming. Okay, so I just barely got away with it. But what saved me there was resilience and uh, stamina shot and region shot. This is the third game. If you play against solos, you can also use uh, decoys. There's a lot of dead people to the right. I throw a decoy. He rests. And I can kill him again. 
Okay, so the decoy made him think that there was someone shooting more far away. Try this again, but it didn't work uh, again, I think. So this is also a way to fight uh, solos with self res Someone else could like uh, You can throw decoys away and, and make them think that there's a fight going on uh, a bit further away. There was a lot of fighting and it was a single boss, so they were killing each other. I killed the boss. And then... There's a solo in here. The last solo, I think, sneaking up on me. I didn't see him there. He was in the stairs to the right. We traded. We're both solo. We have both rest. I have resilience and stamina shot. Which make me win this fight. Look. I wake up. I have 100 health, stamina and regen going on when I woke up. So I won the, the duel there between two solos. So there's no way that he can escape this now. So this is how you... And then... I throw decoys. You think there's a fight further away. One more time. So, use the decoys to make the solo think that there's a fight going on. Try this again. I don't remember if it worked one more time, but... I tried. I killed him like three times now. So, I'm listening here if he rests again. I think this is a level 50, so he doesn't want to lose this fighter. The new skin as well. So, I just snuck away. Got the co closest thing I could found in the compound was bear traps. I didn't have any traps on me. I had decoys and chokes instead. I could have choked him, of course, but um, I saw these traps here. So, I just place the traps on the body if he rests again. And then you can relax a bit, because you know that he will... Uh, insta bleed if he rests himself. And now, when I have the traps on him, I can go away a bit further and look for fire. So he's still waiting to rest this guy, but uh, throw the fire a bit on the side so the traps doesn't uh, go off like that, and. I think it were us one final time. He's watching the body. The traps will kill him though. There you go. So, um, yeah, there, there's are some tips how you play uh, solo with self res. Um, you should try to get resilience as fast as you can. And you should, before a fight, pop uh, stamina shot and region shot. Because if you get killed and, if, and when you uh, revive yourself again, you have full stamina. Uh, you start to heal immediately from 100 if you have resilience and that will give you the upper hand like for example in this case when you ha have solo versus solo you will win that fight most of the times if you're out of stamina you're kind of slow and sluggish another tip is as you saw uh, you can use if you're solo use the decoys if you kill the solo throw the decoys further away uh, and then they might think that there's a fight going on a bit further away. They self press and then you get the free uh, kill. Yeah, I actually killed the la last guy there five times, I think, think not four. So anyway, there's some tips and tricks here for you if you play solo with self press or against solo self press.